Well, turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, stuffing, rolls, those are just a few of the samples or the staples of Thanksgiving meals. But what about some of the non-traditional sides or some of the sides that you might want for the family this year? Ste uh, Chef Steph is back here in the QCL kitchen with a few yes. ideas here for this Thanksgiving. And we're also looking ahead to Christmas. Yes. And you're showing us a, a way to kind of set it up to, to look nice and festive. Yes, I am. Yeah. Now, the first little idea that we have, and, and this is a tip that everybody should remember, if you're going to have a buffet, yes. you put the plates at the beginning the silverware at the end with the really? napkins because oh, so you don't that. want everybody juggling the silverware while trying to fill their plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another tip is get out your bowls, your serving bowls, everything. When you take, like when you set the table, let's do the day before, get out the serving bowls and put the spoon or fork that you want them to use in that and then label it. So Spoon when the sisters-in-law okay. come, they can put the right food in the right container. We don't want any family arguments here. No, we do not. <laughs> so I start with the plates okay. and end with the silverware and Perfect. napkins. All right. And the drinks should be elsewhere. Okay. You don't want them to try to balance a drink while they're filling their plates. No. And you've got a Sharpie with the drinks, too. A Sharpie All with right. the drinks. Because my, I don't know about your family, but my family will take like three sips and then walk away from oh, it. Oh, yeah. And so we need to have Kyle's name or whose ever name on their cup. Mark your cup. And that will, and I keep the Sharpie with the cups. Okay. And even, you can write on glass, you can write on plastic if you've mm -hmm. got a Sharpie. It'll come off. Uh, it takes a little elbow grease. It's a nice little, nice little placeholder. Right, right there. it is. Yeah. And it keeps them from falling over and getting out of place. All right. Another tip. Buy yourself some con out to go containers. Which I would have never thought of that because usually you put them in old Tupperware, old butter. Yeah, I can't believe it's containers. not butter, whatever. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, you know I can exactly believe it's not about. butter. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> anyway, to go containers, these are lined with plastic, so they're, they're actually, they'll hold water. Okay. I want to make sure that. All the food is gone and people are enjoying it on their own because you only have four days. So if uh, you've had sure. it out, mm -hmm. it has to be gone in four days. Now you can recook it, you can make it into soups and all kinds of yeah, other things. Sandwiches. But it would be way nicer of you to write Mark on this and send her Mark home with some turkey, some dressing. If they're there for two meals, mm -hmm. whatever's left over, they've had it. If they commented on something that they really liked, pack it up for them. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is if yeah. you've got a few people, two or 22, use your muffin pan. The muffin pan can mm -hmm. cut the size of the pies down, and then they can have a, a tiny pumpkin pie. A little mini pumpkin pie. There a you go. Tiny, a tiny um, apple pie. Put a, a big tiny, dollop of whipped cream on there. That's yes. perfect size. What's really popular is everybody wants, just give me a little piece of pumpkin, a little piece of pecan, a little yes. piece of apple. Then you've got a big mess. <laughs> so I like to make different little pies, put them on the plate so they can have one little pecan, one little pumpkin, one little apple. That's a good idea. And then they've got everything. All right. If it's just the two of you, you okay. can make a pumpkin pie in this tiny little skillet. There you go. And that little skillet would hold pie for, well, most average people, that would be two. But that might be one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, for so, me, I could, I could eat pumpkin pie until I know, right? I turn too. into a pumpkin. Um, it's so good. The, the other good tip that is go buy new spices. Yes. Because a lot of people make the mistake of they open up spices and then they hold it over steaming soup or mm -hmm. something and the moisture gets in and then it blanches uh, out yeah. the flavor. Okay. So what we want to do is buy new spices and then write the date on it. See, I opened that yesterday. All about the dates. Yes. It is. 11, 11. That's a very professional thing to do. Yes. Okay, so we're going to label our bowls, mm -hmm. put a spoon or a fork that you want to use for serving. That We can make our stuffing okay, in a muffin yes. as well. All right. Here's a stuffing muffin. Why did I bother putting stuffing in a muffin? Because the top is crispy, the bottom is moist and gooey. It's about that texture. Yes. We were just talking about that. It is the texture. Okay. Okay, another really easy thing to do is your green beans. Yeah. Wrap them up. This is a one of those little red peppers that you buy at the produce department. Yeah. And you um, stuff your green beans in there, blanch them slightly, and then put them in that. It looks very festive. This one we did the traditional bacon, mm -hmm. and then sprinkle it with those little crispy onion things yeah. that they everybody's always fighting over. Sure. So you the wrap them up in bacon maybe for Thanksgiving, and then, and then a that's red a bell pepper for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, for Christmas. Oh, there you okay, go. now here's mashed potatoes. Can, yes. Can you oh, yeah. Zhuzh those up All right. a lot. So do you okay. want me to do this? I'm going to let the professional do it, or oh, do you want me no, to do it? Oh, no, you can try. All right. Okay, but here's you the deal. You want to make them look fancy. A bag. A baggie 
and then you put your mashed potatoes. Now, my mashed potatoes have borson cheese in oh, them. Oh, yeah, borson. Never heard of it before. It's got garlic and chives and things Ooh. in it, and the cheese makes them extra rich. Mm -hmm. And then you can make them pretty. I mean, you could just look at the look at how smooth that is. You, you know that looks. Try good. one. You All right, can try it. Try piping. All right, we'll we'll try piping it on. Uh, here's on this do plate Christmas. Here. Do Christmas. All okay. Right, so just squeeze. squeeze See how it. easy? Yeah, it's easy. I'm maybe messing it up a little bit, but yeah, very very simple. You don't make and a mess. And here, here's the good part. The okay. good news is you throw that away. and You don't have to clean another bowl. Hey, that's perfect. Yeah, keep yeah. it keep it in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so I lined my buffet. Yeah. With black craft paper okay and I've got non-dairy no nuts and vegan listed where the dish is okay that way I don't have to answer 24 questions yes let's exactly. have a cocktail all right let's have a cocktail We've yeah what'd you bring us it. today yeah let's have an old-fashioned Christmas what okay, do you say let's do it cheers cheers mm. this is the Mississippi River Distillery old-fashioned which is award-winning um, and you just Ooh. got buy it by the bottle you're right. Very smooth. She was mm. telling me it's very smooth. And I'm not a bourbon guy, but I mean, this this is it's, very good. It goes down very easily. It's very delicious. And very tasty. when you show up, you've got something that, like, everybody brings white wine. Everybody brings a white and a red. Mm -hmm. This You show up with a bottle of Mississippi River yeah. Old Fashioned. You're the popular kid at the party. Yeah, well, you can learn more about all of the spirits and the drinks at Mississippi Real, uh, River Distilling by going to mrdistilling.com. And real quick, we want to try this uh, this glaze, this, this is bourbon, the turkey. The turkey. This is the marinade, the brine. It's in bourbon and apple cider. The recipe is on delicious. the website. Thanks so much for watching QCL, your music for with Sharon up next. Happy holidays. Yes, cheers.